How you doing, guys? Um, it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, but it was supposed to happen a long time ago. Uh, I wanted it to happen a long time ago, but for whatever reason, the boxing gods have decided that July 2nd is the day that I become unified here with champion. Um, but I know what Vladimir is about. I know what he's always been about, and that's why I've aimed for him since before I had my first heavyweight contest, even while I was a cruiserweight. I've seen his style, I've seen what he does in the ring, I've seen how he comes to the ring, and I believe he's a fraud. I believe the people he's fought have made him look spectacular to some, you know, but from down to the fact that he wears big shoulder pads in his gown as he walks to the ring, to uh, the fact that he tries to, you know, pick the guys who suit his style perfectly, you know, I'm not fooled by it, you know, I've seen it, I've seen it happen. Time after time, I keep watching this guy thinking, I could not, even when I was a cruiserweight, I believe I could not uh, let make Klitsch go out. Here's my time to prove it. Um, I'm in good shape for one for the first time he's fighting someone who's healthy. Um, normally, I like, try to beat people who are injured, uh, who's come off long layoffs. This time, he's got a, he's got a prime athlete in his peak. Someone who's coming off a nice long string of spectacular victories. Someone who's used to travelling abroad, travelling to foreign countries and winning titles. I won my cruiserweight championship in France against the French world champion, the undisputed champion, Jean-Marc Monet. I went to, uh, to Germany to fight Nikolai Valuev, a uh, seven foot two giant, uh, somebody who coincidentally Vladimir and Vitaly have avoided for many years. So I went over there, I did, I'm the one who got that belt. This is the belt they've been claiming they've wanted for a long time. They've had their chance in the past to fight for it, but for whatever reason, it hasn't happened. I believe it didn't happen because, you know, maybe a value of didn't fit their little fat American sort of MO that they like to, they like to pick. But I'm, a, I'm definitely someone who uh, is going to mess, mess with Vladimir inside the ring, outside the ring, inside his head. And uh, he, he's in for a, a fight fight that he's unable to come to battle with, with, the, with the right tools, you know, that jab, that jab and grab, it might work against these little, these little fat puddings, these guys who turn up for a paycheck, someone who's faster than you, someone who's harder than you, who's more athletic than you, it's not going to work, and uh, I cannot wait for July 2nd so I can go out there and show the world what I'm all about, you know. I will knock out Vladimir Klitschko. End of story. Deep down in his heart, he knows he's going to try and laugh it off. What have you done? Who have you been? He knows it. Deep down, when he closes his night, eyes at night, he knows his career is manufactured. Mine isn't. Thank you.